It's that time of year again. Yes, it's Christmas day and I've come out with Rich. But this time, instead of going to the Lake District where it's wet and raining non-stop, we're gonna explore the Scottish wilderness. So we have stopped at Loch Lubnig and it's absolutely, it's gorgeous, but I can't, easily show you because it's like the whole lock is just covered in fog all i can see is the sun the reflection of the sun and some ducks way in the distance that the camera isn't going to be able to pick up but it just looks amazing on the way up we saw some stuff sticking out into the water so rich wanted to stop and come down and and film it or photograph it so that's what we've come down to do We've just finished off, so we're gonna head back to the car, go further up the lock, and probably stop and make coffee and a baker's sandwich, cause it's cold and we're hungry, and uh, this adventure's only just begun. <laughs> mm. So I have just had to come back to the car to get milk, cause we are, we have stopped a little bit further up the lock to make a bacon sandwich. Ooh and some coffee and uh, wow is it gorgeous up here today I've never seen this much fog up here it looks amazing and the ducks have come back to visit us <laughs> We've had our coffees and our bacon butties and now he's making me model for him. After we've finished our brew, what's the plan then? I'm gonna get in the car and do some driving. All right. <laughs> and we're heading where? I thought we were going to Lock, lock Bar. Lock, lock Bar and lock then bar. up into Glencoe. All right. Are we're, we? gonna, we're camping at Glencoe. Yes. Yes, we are camping at Glencoe. What are you hoping to get out of this trip? Because it's kind of become something of a Christmas tradition with us now, isn't it? So what do you, what do you want to get out of this trip photographically? Oh, I thought you were saying I was looking forward to my pot noodle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pot noodle, but, but what besides the pot noodle? What do you want to get out of this trip photographically? Strangely, I've brought colour film. Really? And I'm a black and white shooter, so that's really kind of, uh, I don't know why I've brought three rolls of, four rolls of portrait. 35 or 120? 120. 120 for the 6.7. Hmm. And that's, is that, that's C41, right? Yeah. It's negative film. We swung by Paul's house on the way up and we stole some of his gear. So I've got the Sigma R 20mm 1.4 and the 50mm 1.4 in the car. I'm hoping to get some good astrophotography if the skies are clear. I really hope this fog, I mean the fog looks amazing, but I really hope it clears up by tonight so, so that we mountains. can actually see some <laughs> mountains, yeah? And I really hope there's no clouds so we hmm. can see the stars. So we're, we're, we're like double hoping today for both of those things. What's um, that other camera you brought? It's the, I don't know. It's a weird, funny little Sigma Foveon thing with a built-in lens. It's really, really good, but I can't remember the name of it, but it looks really funny. But now I think we're going to finish our coffee and then get back in the car. We need to get there for daylight so we can yeah. find the camp inside. Yeah, we, we've got like three and a half hours to get to Glencoe, which is like two hours away, find somewhere to camp, set up the camp, and, and yeah, yeah, so wish us luck. <laughs> So we decided to stop because we're driving down the road and we saw loads of really cool looking fog on the mountains with the sun blasting through them. So Rich is here setting up his 5D Mark IV to shoot that, which you probably can't really see very well at this angle. Wow. Like this shot looks totally black except for the sun. <laughs> but, uh, and it's a cannon, so he's not gonna be able to recover the shadows very well. <laughs> but yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. I might have to pull my camera out and shoot this myself as well. Because this looks wicked. What do you mean you're actually going to do something? Yeah, I'm actually going to shoot a photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right, so the sun has gone away, but I wanted to walk you through the gear that I've got for the setup today, because as you might have noticed, I've got some really long tripod legs. These are the new Manfrotto 635 fast single carbon legs. I don't know if they're available yet, but when they are, they are really, really good. I've got the Nitrotech 608 head on top of this. So this is primarily a video setup, but I'm using it to shoot, I mean, well, I've got my video rig on top as well, but I'm using it to shoot stills right now just to try and get some nice landscape stuff. So I've got the D800 on there and I've got an old Sigma 28 to 80, I think, 28 to 70, 20, yeah, 28 to 70 mil lens, f2.8, but I'm shooting it around f11 to f16. And I've got the Field World F6 Plus monitor on top so I can get a better view of what's on the LCD. I've got the Pixapro Godox X1R receiver on here, although I haven't brought the transmitter with me. That I use as a remote shutter. Uh, I probably should have brought it because we're planning to do some astrophotography once we get to Glencoe, but never mind. But now we're getting back in the car. Um, we've decided now no more stops until we get to Glencoe. We had made an agreement that we weren't going to stop again until we got to Glencoe. Rich has broken that agreement because he looked out the mirror as we're driving down the road and he saw this. So we decided we were going to stop one last time um, on the way to Glencoe. <laughs> All right, come on, we're done. Let's go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off. To we're going the to Glencoe. We're not having any more of his stopping nonsense now. We're we're just going to Glencoe. <sighs> Can't believe I agreed to do this again. <laughs> Finally got him back in the car. We're driving again. We're heading to Lock Bar first, which is we're going north. <laughs> we're going north. We're heading to Lock Bar first. Uh, which was where we originally planned to stop first, not at like the 300 places we have stopped. Um, so we're going to get a couple of shots around there because Rich actually came up a few weeks ago and we did a little bit of scouting around Glencoe. Some of you might have seen the pictures on Facebook. But we're going to head to Lock Bar because there's a couple of specific shots we want to get and, uh, and then look for somewhere to camp because Glencoe is only two minutes down the road from Lock Bar. I'm probably not going to get the camera out now again until we're actually ready to set up camping at somewhere near Glencoe. We have made it to Glencoe, but not without incident, as this little clip shows. We did stop off at Lock Bar and Rich fell flat on his horse. <laughs> but we have finally made it to Glencoe and you might recognise this scene. Hold on, how about if I do this? Yep, so we are currently at the spot in Skyfall where Daniel Craig and Dame Judy stood looking off into the distance. But yeah, so now we're going to go head down that way and see if we can find somewhere to go set up tents. And I can toss and... a cable. I can't take him anywhere. So we have made it to Locative, finally, and this is where we're going to be camping for the night. We just arrived. The exposure on the camera is not great, as you can see, but it's quite dark. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, it'll be nice waking up to this view tomorrow. But it is already getting very, very dark and cold, really cold, but we've only just arrived and it's only four o'clock and we still have to set up the tents, get the campfire going, cook Christmas dinner. So I don't know if we'll be back for the rest of the day because it's freezing and it's gonna be pitch black by the time we get to eat. But I will either see you in a little bit or I'll see you in the morning. Welcome to day two of our Christmas adventure. We have packed up camp. We didn't shoot anything last night or this morning on video because it was freezing cold. It was. It was freezing cold. Wow. And ooh, oh that's pretty. Hold on, hold on, let me turn you around. 
but yeah, camping, it, it was cold, but camping was an absolute blast last night. Uh, although it felt like there was a hurricane came at about two o'clock in the morning. Now we are on a hunt for fuel because the car's running low and we're hoping we can find somewhere that's open on Boxing Day. The car's as hungry as I am. Yeah, so we need to cook <laughs> breakfast as well. We couldn't do it where we were, it was too windy. It, it took like 20 minutes to boil the kettle on the little camping stove this morning. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head towards a couple of petrol stations and see which ones are open. Stop on the way somewhere we know it's sheltered to cook breakfast. So we have finally managed to find somewhere to cook breakfast and it's only, what time is it? Quarter to two. Quarter to two. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love about Glencoe is that it's packed full of vast open spaces. But the thing I hate about Glencoe is that you can't really cook in any of those open spaces because it's windy as hell a lot of the time, even on sunny days. So, but we have found a spot. We've just come off the road to Glenative and uh, there's a little spot down by the river that's sheltered from wind, so we're going to go cook our breakfast at almost two o'clock down there. Do you want bacon with your bacon? Yes, boys. So we did try and film this bit down at the river, but <laughs> the river was so loud next to us that the microphone couldn't pick us up over the sound of the water, so we're doing it in the car instead. But we have finally had breakfast. <laughs> it is now 25 past three. It's already getting dark, so we're heading back to civilization. But uh, ha have you enjoyed your Christmas? Excellent. Most excellent. You sound really enthusiastic about that. No, I'm still enjoying this view. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's yeah. not over yet. <laughs> no, it is It is pretty epic views. No, the mountains look icy. The snow makes it look like they got like white tiger stripes or something. It's very cool. But yeah, so we've had a blast in Glencoe this Christmas. It got muddy, and, uh, got wet. Yeah, he, he... Rained on. Yeah. Stood in water. Yeah, <laughs> stood in water that I told him was there. He didn't believe me. I really wish I'd been recording at that point. But yeah, no, it's been an absolute blast. So I'm, I'm looking forward to figuring out where we're going next year. We can't do the lakes again. We can't do Glencoe again. Out to Hebrides or Sky. Sky, <laughs> Sky would be good. Or somewhere warm like Australia. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of our zany adventures. Um, how was your Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.